We could not have asked for a better day or most a better location actually for this video, oh, wow. right? And not to mention, we're pretty excited about this product as well. This is the Carefree Easy Zip Locker. We've had our eyes on these for quite some time now, and we finally got our hands on one. If you don't know what these are, there's basically a screen drop down for your, for your awning. Mm -hmm. So when your awnings are out, you have a screen that comes down. It gives you a little bit of protection from the sunlight. Right. This particular product supposedly blocks up to about 85% of the sunlight. So if you think about it, if your RV is facing north and south, mm -hmm. you're either gonna have early morning sun on the side of your RV right. and also um, late afternoon sun sun in the afternoon as yeah. well so depending on which way you're going you can block off some of that sun and actually use a picnic table like this without getting sunburned yeah. and <laughs> so, it'll also help keep the RV a little cooler too definitely we think definitely now what we're going to do today well, I should, let me just back up a little bit we did some research on these there's yeah. a few manufacturers that make these I'm just gonna call it a, a a screen drop, drop down. down or a sunshade. There are a few manufacturers out there that make these. A couple we looked at right off the bat that you could just tell the quality wasn't there. We mm -hmm. just kind of ruled them out as well. Then we noticed this one from Carefree of Colorado. Uh, again, it's called the Easy Zip Locker. The first thing that we liked about it is it's just Carefree made our awnings, right? Yep. So they, everything above oh, us yeah. right now is Carefree. That's how they so, came. This is made for awnings, so you know it's going to be tested and works well with their awnings as yeah. well. The other thing we liked about this is it does have a five-year warranty. Yeah. It's made of what? Polyester and uh, durable vinyl coating. Right. What she just said, <laughs> polyester and a vinyl coating. So these, these are pretty durable. Of course, they're weather resistant and everything mm -hmm. like that. But what we're going to do is, let me back up from there. Uh, what we did after doing our research, figuring out which product that we, we thought we'd like to go with, we did reach out to Carefree of Colorado. We got talking about their product and they were kind enough to send us this easy zip locker uh, right. for us to do a quick review on. The other thing they sent us, which I'm really just as excited oh, about yeah. too, yeah. are these awning tie down straps. Now you don't have to have these mm -hmm. with uh, your zip locker, however, I, I think we're gonna want them, yeah. right? Um, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go through the process of setting up your your easy zip locker, you're probably gonna have your awnings out more than not. not. So you might as well strap them down just to be safe in case a gust of wind comes up or something like that. Yeah, so like we do. <laughs> yeah, definitely like we do. So again, this is the awning tie down straps. You don't have to purchase this. You can honestly just use regular tie down straps, but um, this is pretty nice that they sent us these as well. Very nice. So what we're going to do today is we are going to unpackage this. We're going to lay it out. We're going to get it installed and, and see how basically how hard or how easy the process is and, okay. and how it goes. So first thing we have, what's in the back? Yeah, we do have some stakes. So these will be used when it, when it hangs down um, to stake it out. And this, and this nice handle bag. <laughs> you could use that for a purse. <laughs> you could use it for a purse. Or what do they call it, a Merce? Merce. Okay, so here's our easy zip locker. Now this one is actually 10 feet wide by eight feet high, okay? Um, and before we even get started, a couple of tips, um, if you do decide to do something like this, they tell you to actually lower your awnings to the lowest setting yeah. possible just for the installation. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, the lower the, the awnings are, the, the less high you got to climb up on a ladder yeah. if you're if you're a little bit skittish right. on a ladder so just go ahead and lower your awnings if you can if they are adjustable and we did that we lowered them to the lowest right. setting what we are going to do is we are going to spread this out we are going to unzip the top half from the bottom half to install the top half it just makes it a little bit easier mm -hmm. that is something else they suggest you, you do as well and that is one of the reasons why we liked the carefree zip locker they have a zipper this one is actually about two feet down from the top 
Okay. So what happens is once we get this installed, we're going to have a section roughly two feet that hangs from our awnings permanently. Mm -hmm. It stays there. That actually rolls up with your okay. awning. And it actually, when your awnings come out, it will come out as well. And then when we want to use the actual screen, all we do is zip zip into the permanent the, fixture okay. and we're ready to go. There are some products out there, believe it or not, that do not have that zipper. Mm -hmm. So you would actually have to install them every single time you want to use them and then uninstall them again when you wanted to roll up your okay. awning. So just be aware of that as well. Just um, you, you do want one with the zipper. So we're going to go ahead and get this rolled out. Um, I, like I said, we already have our awnings down to uh, the lowest point as well. Mm -hmm. The other thing we have to do to pre uh, prepare for this, of course, we have a ladder. And I'll show you this. I'll try to get the, the little camera up top. There's an extra, a lot of these awnings have an extra slot in, in the awnings. And these are made to go into that little extra slot or little, little rail. In order to get these in, we actually have to overextend our awnings a few mm -hmm. inches. And I'll show you, I'll, again, I'll try to get the, the GoPro up there. There's a, you can extend it a little bit, just to have access to that slot so we can roll these in. Right. So, Right? Cool. All right, so let's get this unpacked and we will start um, get up on the ladder and, and get this thing going. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> get up on that ladder. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love when he listens to me. <laughs> wow, this is thick. Yeah, it is. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. This is nice. Really nice. Yeah. So you can see this is the top section up here. This is going to fit inside the, the awning tube and this is the zipper right here. Um, so this top half actually stays in the awning all the time. It rolls up with the awning. Then the bottom half will unzip and you kind of stow that when you're not using it. So let's go ahead and get this. We're going to unzip this. Okay, so this is it. This is the top half. We're going to stick this inside the, the, slot, the awning tube. The slot. Yeah, on the slot on the on the awning. Right. So the first thing I have to do is I'm going to have to get the ladder up here and then I'm going to have to adjust the awning. I'm going to overextend it a little bit to have access to the slot. Once I get there, I'll um, I'll take the GoPro up there and show you how that is. Okay. So right now we're going to get the ladder and get all set up. All right. This slot right here this is its normal position. We're actually going to overextend this. We're going to um, rotate it out a little bit. And then I'm going to show you what we get to. We want it to line up right here. This is a little groove. This is, happens to be the right side of our awning. Once we get that slot in here, then we can slide the, uh, the top of the zip blocker in. So Dina, can you extend it a little bit? Stop. Whoop. A little bit too far. Go back up a little bit. Stop. Ooh, per, uh, let's try that. So now you can see we have this groove here and this is our, our slot. Runs all the way down. All right, I'm risking my life. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it started, just enough so I can get the GoPro back up here. But you can see once you get it started, all we're doing is gonna slide this in place and we're gonna slide it all the way down to the other end. Okay, hold it. Just we got about a foot to go. Okay, a couple things to note. Uh, we just got done installing this, or actually just getting into the slot. There's still another step to go. But this ours again is 10 feet long. I got about halfway through. I was up on the ladder. I push it through very, very easily, like halfway through, yeah. so roughly five feet. Then it started getting a little bit tough yeah, to pull. So I did have to move the ladder and kind of pull it a little bit. Yeah. And then the back end coming in, I was afraid it, it's got a little bit tight yeah. as well. So honestly, I would suggest two people to yeah. do this. Oh, and yeah. what we ended up doing was I, I got back on the ladder. I could kind of push it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Dean was able to reach from the front just because of where we're at right now. And I kind was of, able to get up on a stone. <laughs> uh, on a rock, yeah. <laughs> and kind of pull it as I was pushing it and yeah. it went it went in with no problem at all so just a little tip two people might be a little easier, be easier than um, one that. so now there's another thing we have to do we're going to um, go back up there's some velcro patches we want to put on and what these are used for is we want to be able to keep this top section up here from sliding back and forth right. so when it rolls up in the awning we don't want it over time going left or right, right. so they do supply us with some velcro straps and we're going to put those on as well we did make minor adjustments left to right to get this exactly where we want it. The next step is we're just going to kind of wipe this down a little bit where the Velcro is going to be. Want to get that kind of clean. 
And again, we're just gonna attach this Velcro. And what it, all, it's, all it's for is so when we roll up the awnings, this doesn't slide back and forth. It's just gonna keep it in place. So we'll go ahead and get this Velcro going. Stick it up here. Hopefully you can see that. And that's all there is to it. And now, now what we'll do is go to the other side and do the Velcro on the other side. So now all we have to do is zip this up. And this is one of the nice things about this is you don't need a ladder to do this. So, and that's kind of the whole purpose of all this. And we're gonna start zipping. Oh, this is easy. Oh, that is easy. Wait a minute, you're going too fast for me. Nice. Sweet. So that's actually installed. The only thing really left to do now is our stake. So we can stake this down and we can readjust our awning for a, a different height um, if we want to. So let's go ahead. We do have some rocks kind of in our way yeah. over here. So it's not gonna be exactly perfect, but we'll go ahead and get the stake down and then we'll also stake down the awnings as well. We'll make the best of it. Yep. Well, that was easy. <laughs> After I did all that hard work. I thought it was gonna be hard work. <laughs> piece of cake that was actually very very it easy really you do need a sturdy ladder yeah. um, for sure i do think two people makes it a little a bit easier, easier when you're sliding the top section in yeah. overall Especially being on a ladder yeah but overall if we weren't filming this probably could have been done in five minutes yeah. um, very very easy we got it all staked down we'll probably do some minor adjustments the more we use it to see how we you know maybe we'll slide the bottom out some or yeah. in a little bit but i think we're really really going to enjoy this yeah, uh, carefree easy zip locker it's really really nice now the next thing we're going to do to kind of finish out this whole video we're going to use these awning tie down straps now that we have this all set up i don't want to leave my awnings out or be away from from in case we do get a gust of wind or something yeah. like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, the awning tie down straps. Mm -hmm. Again, these are from Carefree as well. And we'll get these awnings tied down, then we'll be done. All that hard work that Dina just did. Now we gotta unzip this. We just figured out these awning tie down straps. They actually have a little piece on one end that yeah. actually goes into the same utility slot on the roller arm as our easy zip blocker does. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna unzip this. We're gonna extend this, overextend it just a little bit, just enough to get these inside the awning, the, the extra little slot in there. And then we'll go back and start all over again. We'll just actually just got to zip yeah. this up again. But they actually have two different kinds of tie down straps. Right. They have a universal one and this is for a carefree right. awning. So these are actually I kind of like these. They actually stow also. So they're self stowing. So yes. once we put once we put these in, they're in there, they'll roll up with the awning as well. So we should be good to go. Nothing's ever easy. <laughs> this, is, known. this is real life, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this was actually a little bit of a pain in the neck. These are permanent. Um, they do slide into the slots the same way that the, uh, the easy zip blocker goes in. Luckily, I was able to wedge it in here and slide it in. I was afraid I'd have to take the whole zip blocker off, but um, I was able to do this side. Now the other side won't be as bad because we had the slot. This one's gonna be a lot easier. It just slides right in. Hopefully we can get this in. This, this ground's pretty tough here, just a couple tree roots took me a little while to find a spot but that's pretty snug put this in and this goes in here oh nice nice so we do have a little bit of spring so that does give us some play I'm hitting a root right now. I, I've already tried around here, just to be honest with you. There's some rocks. This is about the best I can get this. This will definitely hold though. I mean, this, this is snug, but normally if I had a little bit better ground, I would probably screw this in a little bit more, but this isn't going anywhere. Now let's see if we can get the other side. The other side actually has more rocks in it. <laughs> Well, we're done. That wasn't bad, was it? It was really easy for me. <laughs> it was on the one that was up on the ladder all the time. <laughs> but I think 
we're really, really going to enjoy this carefree, easy Ziploc. Yeah, at home. I do too. Just sitting here, we have a little bit of privacy behind us yeah. now. I think we're really going to enjoy where we're at now, the mornings. Yeah. Um, the sun comes up from right behind us, so the mm -hmm. sun, hopefully this blocks some of the sun yeah. on the side of the RV where we can actually sit out here and maybe enjoy a cup of coffee right. in the mornings right. without the sun beating on us. Right. So I think we're really, really going to enjoy that. Now let's talk a little bit about the installation and I guess first impressions. Right. right. First of all, we want to take a minute and uh, thank Carefree for sending us such a great quality product. The quality yeah. is definitely there. You can definitely see it. And I think we're going to really enjoy this. For I, years I do to too, too. And if this is something you're interested in, we will put a link to the Carefree website down below. It's Carefree of Colorado. We'll put it down there and you can check them out. Insulation. Yep. 15 minutes, Yeah. very, very simple. I do think two people makes it a little oh, bit yeah. easier. Yeah, I do too. This is a 10 foot long. And again, I think I mentioned it earlier, but as you start pushing this through the slot, mm -hmm. the further along you go, it gets a little bit harder. So right. it is nice to have somebody kind of pull it as you push. Now they do make these, I believe up to 17 feet, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I, think so. I couldn't even imagine one person right. trying to run that through. So. Two people, I would suggest. The other thing I notice, again, lower your awning as low as possible right. while you're working on it. it. Just makes it easier. You're not climbing up the ladder as much or as high. Um, so, yeah, I think two thumbs up. For, two thumbs up for definitely. the easy zip blocker. Yep. Definitely, this is this is really really nice. Let's yep. talk a little bit about the awning tie downs. If you remember, we had the they sent us also some awning tie downs. These we're going to use when we have the easy zip locker up. We want to once it's up, we want to kind of leave the awning out for a while right. and not have to worry too too much or about a gust of wind or something right. like that come up. So we do have these awning tie down straps. Now to talk a little bit about those, they do sell two different types. These are the ones are made specifically for the carefree awnings, which is what we have. Mm -hmm. And they actually just have a little piece of uh, hard rubber or plastic that goes in the same slot as the easy zip blocker. Right. So that kind of slides, slides in, in and stays in, which means they're kind of permanent. Right. You don't want to be up and down all the time, right. putting these in slots and, and, and taking them out. Because of that, I don't know if I'm going to like yeah. these, to, to, to be honest with yeah. you. I think if, it, if I was to do this again, I would probably get the other kind. I'm assuming since they're more generic, they probably just have a, a hook on the end of it. And they um, then we can just kind of hook it, yeah. take it down, strap it down, and, and you're good to go. So if I was to buy these, I, I like them. They're yeah. nice. I would probably get the universal ones or the right. generic ones so they're not more permanent. Right. Now, these are supposed to be able to, to roll, roll up. up with the awning so we will try that out and see how maybe it's not a problem right we are going to try that out see how it works anything we find we'll leave comments yeah, and, any and updates descriptions. that we have we'll definitely put that in our description yeah but overall i think we're really really going to enjoy both yep. of these products i do too we hope you enjoyed today's video we hope that you have a great week and stay safe remember always live life to the fullest thanks for watching safe travels and god bless